Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some 2D, 3D text. I don't really know how to really explain it any other way, so let's, let's do this. So, first what we want to do is we want to basically right click right here. We want to bait, well, first you want to make a composition and then you want to right click here. You want to click new, you want to click text. Now you're gonna type in your name for this. I'll do, you know what, I'll do, um, let's see, what's a short name? I'll just do, hey, there. I'll just type the word, hey, it's not even a name, but it, you, you understand maybe. Wanna make sure that your thing is centered and yeah. So then you wanna hit A on your text layer and you wanna, so you get the anchor point. Maybe you wanna drag that to the center just so it's nice and centered text. So now what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to click create shapes from text. This will create a shape layer, which will basically create a shape layer with like a bunch of like little uh, images. Just a bunch of little shapes that are in the shape of the text and the font they use. So um, for this, we're going to click on this, make sure nothing's selected, click on this add and then click group. And then we're gonna take these three texts and we're gonna put them in that group. Now we're gonna copy the group and then we're gonna click this contents folder and we're gonna just paste that in. So we get a nice copy of the same uh, text. Now what we're gonna do is we wanna click this arrow, make sure we're selected the group two and we want to hit this repeater. This will add a repeater on here and it'll look like that. <laughs> so that's basically what it is. Uh, so now with these, uh, like little pieces of text for each of the letters we have to go in and individually change the fill to a different color so let's see let's go up to the first one and change this these ones these colors for this so you want to make sure you change the fill on each of these to a specific color so let's see let's say we want blue text so we're gonna go for a blue color this is a nice blue we're gonna go to about here for the main uh, upper text color. I want to copy the copy the like little code for the actual color. And then we're just gonna go in and paste the code on all three of these for the hay. Now we're gonna go down and we're going to basically paste the same thing, but make it darker. Think about there. And then we're gonna copy that code for that color, and then we're gonna do it for the same for both of these. We're gonna do that for all that for all the bottom things and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this position here in the repeater select that make it zero and then we're gonna make this one the position next to it so now when we add more copies as you can tell it does this now this is decent looking text on its own but it's not the way that we want it so basically you want to take well first we want to go to transform and we want to make this text a little bit bigger because uh, we want it to be a little bit bigger than it was. So now, once we do this, we want to change the scale to uh, like this. There we go. So in the repeater scale, we want to change this down to about the. Ooh, not no. Whoa, 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 sir! That is too much. So you want to get it to a point where it doesn't look like it, because on some of these you can get it to a point where it just looks really bad, like it looks like there's like little cubes going on. So right now, this doesn't look terrible, but it looks like it has a little bit of a form, weird cube form going on, but that's the best that we can do with this text. Uh, we can make the text smaller actually to make it look better. So now we've got this like t hey text and as you can tell it looks pretty decent it's actually a really nice looking text but as you can tell it's just the blue it doesn't have anything else like making it pop and making it stand out so what you want to do is you want to right click and you want to click shape uh, well you want to click layer styles and you want to add a stroke and let's make this back to black so we can see and you want to make the stroke to a nice white color and then we're gonna up the stroke size to be around there. 
So now we've got this nice text. It's got a white background. Now, let's say you just want the text to be like just a, well, let's just say you want to make text for like uh, something else, like a thumbnail or something. Like you're just like, hey, I want to use After Effects to make text for some reason for my thumbnails. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you can just, uh, well, you basically you can make the composition to one second, then like render it as a PNG sequence, and then you can get that, or a PNG sequence with uh, alpha, and I'm pretty sure you can render that with the text, and it'll be all good and dandy. But uh, let's say you want to make like an overlay intro, but you want it to look a little bit nicer on the overlay, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know how to really explain it that well. Uh, well, you can add a drop shadow if you want. You can make the size a bit bigger, and then make the opacity down, and then you got like a nice little drop shadow to the back. Now, if we create like a random like thing, like let's see, we'll create like a kind of a darkish, lightish blue. Yeah, you know, just light blue for like just let's just create a solid. And as you can tell, it looks like that. It's got like a drop shadow. You can make it a little bit less intense to. So basically, this is just like extra stuff that you can do to make it like suit the style that you want. And yeah, that's basically how I make my weird 3D, 2D text things. Um, that's how I do it. A lot of other people do this kind of text, but they make it a little bit differently. Some people even make it in like Photoshop. I just make mine in After Effects because that's what I got. I got After Effects and that's what I do. I even make, I've even started making my thumbnails in After Effects because it's really easy to do. Basically, you just make the composition one zero seconds, and you create the thumbnail really nice. It, I just it feels nicer to me because I can get like things a little bit more precise in After Effects. But yeah, I really like the way that my thumbnail looks currently for my survival series. I on my gaming channel or whatever, but no one cares about that. But yeah, this is how you make the 2D, 3D text, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. The intro was created by Pro Taxi. Uh, he posted it on his uh, Unseen Work channel, but I think that he should have posted it on his main channel because it's a really good intro. I really like it. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.